So I'm making breakfast and I get a phone call from my mom and she brings more breakfast. This stuff smells so, so good. So good. You're in an ocean. You're, you're down by the Arctic Circle. We're using that rule, the I, how it makes it sound like itself, but in this case, it's just a different word. I'm the Into the Spider-Verse Spider-Man. I yo. Good morning everybody, so it is our last full day of homeschool for the week. I've got some sausage and pancakes cooking. It smells good. And then, Aspen and I have to run a couple of errands this morning. Got a couple of bills to pay, a few things to pick up for the house. And then, we're gonna start in on our last full day of school for the first week of homeschool. So, that's exciting. I'm ready for the weekend. I know the kids are ready for the weekend, so. Matt is still off in St. Louis. That's where he's at right now. He had to travel to St. Louis. So I'm gonna get this breakfast made and then we'll see how our day goes. So I'm making breakfast and I get a phone call from my mom and she brings more breakfast. She brought some scramblers and she brought the kids some donuts and some little breads. How's your breakfast eggs. this morning? Good? Eggs. You want eggs? All right, so. Yeah, Are we running eat, errands with Grandma Poot? Yeah, but I have a spider on my leg that can eat Pokemon. Let me see your spider. It Ooh. looks like that spider now. That's the prettiest spider I've ever seen. Yeah, so we are off to pay the bills, pick a couple things up, and then start our homeschool day. Oh, it is so late for our day, but I think we can do it. And then where are we going? Where are we going when we're all done with school? To the park. To the park. After my school. Can come today. Go ahead, put it in. Oh, look, butterfly. Oh, that's a big butterfly. That's a big old butterfly. Oh, <laughs> what are you doing? Just look at him. What's he doing? See if he lands. Oh, put this up, Poot. He landed. He did, isn't he pretty? What? Put up the flag so they know that there's mail in there. Good job. <laughs> all right, so we got all our shopping done, and I have to show you guys, I found this not too long ago. The coconut, what is it? Coconut water mango soap, and you guys, this stuff smells so, so good. so good. I keep it in the kitchen, in both of the bathrooms, and we go through it so fast. It smells so good that the kids want to use it to wash their hands. And I found these at the dollar store. I just did a little bit of shopping there because Cheerlin can only use one kind of soap because she's allergic to soaps, to almost every soap, so I have to get her the glycerin soap, and I get it at the hey, dollar store. Yep, Grandma bought some for tea at her house. But yeah, I picked her one up so that she can wash her hands with it and then also for in the shower downstairs because she was just about out. This is my favorite. And I was actually watching, I've always used Dove Soap, and I was watching Eight Passengers the other day. I've watched their channel for a very long time. And they were actually talking to the dermatologist and they said yeah, for yeah. acne, he said that this was the best soap to use, so. And I've always, always liked it. And then, picked up some big band-aids because now that the kids ride their scooters a lot, we've had quite a few bumped knees. So I wanted to have some extra big band-aids because they had just run out. And then while I was at the dollar store, I had to pick up some shaving cream because this is the only kind T can use. Well, they have an orange one too that she uses, but they came out with this ultra sensitive and I really like that. That seems to work even better for her. And all of us girls, Needed some hair ties. We're due for haircuts too. We have to go out and get some. Hoping this weekend or maybe next weekend we go get our haircuts. But we need our back to school haircuts. But the girls needed some hair ties. So I picked up two different packages. I wanted the bright colors because Ireland wears a lot of bright colors. And then some of the darker ones for T and I and Ireland as well. All week we have been learning about the letter A and talking about A and how it's for alligator. And what else? Apple. Apple. And Aspen. Hold that. 
Here, we'll just put it over here on the table till you're done. Am I done? And today, Aspen is going to make a super apple, aren't you? You have all his body parts and you gotta put him together. Nice work. So that's his body, don't I eat the glue. Don't eat the glue. Don't eat the glue. Like it was a sucker. Now I'm gonna start with his eyes that go up here. No, his eyes go on his body. Right here? No, probably right about here. Yeah. That's his mask, see? Yeah. Um. No, I'm eating you, the glue. But I'm gonna let you eat glue. It's not gonna taste good. I wanna eat it. Don't eat it. Will it make you sick? It could. Will it make you die? Not that glue, but I wouldn't eat it anyway. Oh, your apple turned out so nice. You did that all by yourself. Look at that. Oh, good job. You wanna do. So, what sound does A make? Very good, like eh, eh, apple. You ready to go do some geography? Let's go. You're gonna catch with your hands and then you're gonna hold it and we're gonna see where your thumb lands and then we're gonna find out what place in the world you went to. Are you ready? How about Catch. Ah. All right, where's your thumb? Where's your thumb? Your thumb is in South America. You went to Brazil. <laughs> what? So we're in Brazil? All right, you want to throw it to me or do you want me to throw it to you? I'll throw it to you. Okay. You better not do Where am I going? Where no. am I going? I don't know where you went. I don't know where you went. All right, throw it. Oh. Where'd your thumb land? Oh, my thumb. Oh, both thumbs. Oh, right here, right here. My right thumb. My thumb went to Molly. We were in Africa. What oh, I where'd my right thumb go? The South Pacific Ocean. America, again. Are you gonna go to South America again, you think? Are you ready? All right, where are you going? Where's your right thumb? Where'd you go? You went to Tanzania. I am in Alaska, in the United States, where we live. Well, we don't live in Alaska, but we live in the United States. Ready? Where are you going? Oh, where's that right thumb? Nope, right thumb. Oh yeah, right thumb. Oh, you're in the middle of the North Pacific Ocean. Ah. You were in the South Pacific, now you're in the North Pacific. I'm yeah. just working on sight words. She's working Land. on the learn, learn to read. Oh, Most wow. of these she seems to know really well, so we go and see yeah. if she knows them. Set and then she'll read the story, and then we're Cat. still doing her teach your child to read Man. book. And her Man. reading is getting so good, you guys. Cat. Cat. Man. Man. Lad. Lad. Now, if you've been with us for a while, you know Man. Ireland really struggled Man. with this before. Cat. And she seems Cat. to be just breezing through it. Cat. So after yeah. she's graduated this, then we'll start going into actual yeah. language arts lessons. And you, you passed your spelling test with 100%, didn't you, this week, your pretest. So you didn't even have to take a test. So get ready to read these words the fast way. Read it the fast way. Rich. Yes, rich. Uh, them. Yes, them. Sleeping. Good. Lake. Live. So, is this live or is it live? Live because I'll make it live. Well, live and live are spelled exactly the same way. Do you see how it's showing you that there's no long sound? It's not an I, it's an I. But there's an E. I know. This is one of the confusing words in the English language. You spell live this way and you spell live this way. This is live. Ready? Live. I know, it's a confusing word. So whenever we see this word, you have to take it in the context of a sentence. So sometimes it'll say, okay, we're going live today, right? And it would be spelled that way. Or I want to live in that house. So you have to look at your sentence to decide how you're supposed to say that word. Is that crazy? So it is live and it is live. But today, see how it doesn't have the long sound? So today it's live. 
Okay, that's what we're practicing today. With. So every day the kids, we used to do this on Fridays, but every day the kids get a different like elective to do. And so today, because it's only a four day week, there's normally five that they do. But today they're getting to do their thinking class, which is kind of fun for a Friday because it's like games or puzzles or whatever on the computer. And so today Ireland got to pick a puzzle and then we turned it into a 24 piece puzzle. But I'm thinking this one's going to be a little challenging. Oh yeah, they turn. They do turn? Yeah. I was like, but that goes there. Nice. Hold on. I have wait, 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 wait. That's not yet. the same poem. Not yet. Hold on. The nurse in poem 16 is not a nurse like in a hospital. It's a woman in charge of watching the children like a nanny. What is the nurse saying to the kids? That you have to go to bed and then she said, fine, you can play more. And what are the kids saying to the nurse? That no, it is still day. We cannot go to bed, so let's <laughs> Finally, the last day of school for the week. That's fine. Look at that. Isn't that tree beautiful, you guys? It's down here at this park, and I just think it is so pretty. I love weeping willows. Such a nice little park, you guys. They have swings and like a little sand area for the kids and lots of climbing stuff. It's so nice and tons of area to run. You going to play? You going to swing. You have a big date tonight, don't you, Zane? Yeah. Who do you have a date with? Grandpa. Yeah, you guys are going out together tonight, aren't you? I don't know what we're doing. You don't know yet? He said maybe a movie or something, huh? Yeah, he said he. we should see what movies we're in. Like Spider-Man? Yes, climbing it. I'm the into the Spider-Verse Spider-Man. And also the one from Spider-Man, the Amazing Spider-Man 2 on PS4, the black and red one. Mm -hmm. 